is to locate the two train station buildings hidden in the decades old under- Bro, airsoft is so cool. So entertainment is so cool. You know what? I think I finally decided I'm gonna get into airsoft. I've saved up a little bit of money for my job, and I have all summer to be free. I think I'm finally gonna dedicate and buy some good airsoft gear. Let's see what we can buy. I know, just the thing. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Now, despite the meme in the beginning, I think we can all agree that we remember being a new player. And if you are a new player, this is going to be perfect for you. Today, we're going to be talking about how to build your kit and what to get if you're a new player on a budget. Now, I do understand that a lot of people see these cool ads and see these cool things and go, Oh my god, I want to buy that. But often, the things that mainstream pushes as airsoft gear are cheap. Halloween costumes that could be dangerous not only are they going to make you a big target and put you at a disadvantage of your game if it's eyewear or mouthwear it could put you in serious danger of breaking shrapneling in your face or just not working and you shoot out your teeth or your eyes so it's very 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 important to do your research if it's clothes then yeah you get scammed but if it's a face piece which a lot of people that's where they skimp you end up getting hurt getting others hurt, having to quit the game, and just making your experience all around worse. So today, we are going to be talking about top 5 beginner loadouts. Let's get into it. For the number 1 spot, we are going to be talking about my take on the kit most players run when they first start. Most players when they first start have a shitty airsoft vest and then a shitty paint mask. In my opinion, the best and cheapest airsoft company you can buy from is Yakita Airsoft. They make quality and affordable options. Now, the cheapest one they have right now, as far as I know, is the Akita Outdoor Tactical Airsoft Vest. It's actually on sale right now from $45.99 to $39.59. That's almost $10 off. So make sure you click the link in the description and get it while it's still on sale. But what we save by getting a cheaper vest, or you can go up just look at Akita's catalog, we can afford to buy a better paintball mask. Because while we want cheap, we also want to keep our eyes. So check out the HK Army S or HSTL paintball goggles. They are a very, 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 very good cheap option. They're $49.95, which is extremely low for paintball masks. And they are very good. HK Army makes very high quality products. It comes in a variety of designs and textures, but the cheapest one they have is black with the black lens. But you can check out whichever one you want. They're a little bit more. Now with this extra money we save from this extremely cheap kit, less than $100, we can put that into buying a better gun. Now, while this video is mostly about kits, uh, I figured I'd give you guys a good recommendation with this $100 save. The Lancer Tactical Gen 2 Interceptor, which I think is ugly as sin, but a lot of people like, is a good beginner. If you can get over its, let's say frankly, ugly looks, it's a pretty good. Lancer gets a bad rep because it's not really for competition, but if you're a beginner, it's a lot better than some of the other companies out there. And you know that since they're at least trusted, they're not going to give you something that doesn't work. Now for the number two spot, we're going to be looking at a kit that's almost double the last one in both looks and in money. Now we're going to start with the Akita Camo Tactical Plate Carrier. Now it's originally $87.99, but it's right now on sale for $79.19. So again, click the link to save almost $10. I'm just that great. But anyway, this is a much better vest and it's still by Akita. It has uh, three triple pouches in the front and pouches on the side and it looks more close to an actual plate carrier. In my opinion, I think it's very nice. And then for the helmet, we have a JFF C Store updated fast tactical helmet. It comes with a mesh lower and goggles. But I don't exactly trust the goggles that it comes with. So just to be safe, guys, we're going to go ahead and buy some Zajistic Airsoft Tactical Goggles. Now these are pretty cheap, so at first I'd be wary, but I have bought and tried them when I first played. I've shot them with all kinds of guns. I have them right next to me actually, and they actually survive. So make sure you check them out, because they are actually very good. Now, that is the kit that we're gonna have. There's no gun recommendation for this one, but in my opinion, this might be the best one to get on the list. It's probably the best that you can build on for the future. Just keep that in mind when you're looking at the other ones on now for the third kit on this list, we're going to be going for more of a speed saw type. We're going to get the Yakita 7-in-1 belt, 
which comes with four mag pouches and a bunch of other utility pouches, which is going to make you a lot more mobile lighter. As well as that, we're going to get Rothko camo uh, BDU pants, which you can get in a variety of different colors. With a kit like this, you can look more speed soft and eventually upgrade for the future. As a helmet, we're going to use uh, what I said prior, the HK Army uh, HSTL paintball mask. But if you're going to get the cargo pants, I'd recommend splurging a little bit and getting a cool colored pants mixed with a cool colored helmet to just look colorful and more like a proper speed softer. This kit, while it is cheaper, it still looks cool enough where you're not going to look just like some budget uh, professional player. So make sure if you're wanting to get into professional airsofting, speed softing, shit like that, HBA guns, you give this a look. Now for the fourth item, we're actually going to be talking about something that even me, as a longtime airsoft player, actually is wondering if it's cool. So I'd buy this at your own advisory. But lately I've been seeing a lot of these full face mask goggles, and I've heard that they're actually really, really good. They are all in one, and they're pretty cheap considerably. And then to go alongside that, there's a Yakita chest mini rig. Now I picked these two because they go really well together, and I imagine that they'd look really, really cool. Now this might be the most unadvisable on the list, but I figured that I'd give some of you new players advice to get a cool and unique-ish kit that would make you stand out. Now this is the one that if you're very very on a budget I would recommend not buying. I'd recommend, especially if it's like Christmas, getting something else on this list because it's more certified that's going to work. But if you try it, show me, DM me, and let me see how cool it looks man. I'm interested if it looks cool or not, so I guess I'll learn from you guys. Now, the number 5 spot on this list isn't even actual a spot, it's for you guys. Now, I've seen so many cool budget kits in the past, people making their own rigs, all these things, and I'd be so interested to see what some of you who aren't documented online have been doing with all your cool, cheap kits. So if you're a broke boy like me, or at least like I used to be, well then you can go ahead and show me your kits and then you'll be featured in a video where I show all the cool kits that you guys have. Now, I personally love to see unique kits. The more unique it is, the better it is, the more likely you are to get featured, bro. I'm telling you, I've seen the coolest kits from people who you've never even seen in your entire life. There's a random guy at my field, comes like maybe once a month, who wears a full suit of Mandalorian armor. He doesn't have a channel or anything. So stuff like that really does show that the most unique, the most cool kits come from the rarest of places. So if you want to get that rareness away and Show everyone how cool you are. Just go ahead and show me your kits and I'll feature you guys. Love you and goodbye.